Hey, fifth graders, uh, we're going a little old school today um, just because we have a bunch of uh, what we call input output tables. Um, we, I didn't want to have to have you draw those all through your notebook, so you're going to get a copy of this and then we're going to uh, either staple or um, tape it to your um, math notebook. All right, so today is lesson 8.5, okay, and our question today is how do we use our knowledge okay of solving equations to complete input and output tables. Okay, and as you can see we have a whole bunch of input and output tables. Now the one thing if we don't understand input and output tables, the one thing that we can think about is think about just having a, hopefully you'll be able to see this, having a box here and that a number goes in and then some sort of function happens to, to it. Okay, and that's what this is called. It's called a function. Okay, and then after something happens, whether it's a multiplication or division or addition, subtraction, or a combination of all of them, then a so a number comes out, goes in, which is generally x, and then what comes out is the number y. Okay? And somehow y has been affected by whatever is supposed to have happened um, in that uh, in that um, in that thing. So let's look here at the first one here and what we have is we have our input which is the numbers going in, the output would be the numbers coming out and then our rule is multiply by 4 and then subtract 2. So for the input you're gonna first you're gonna multiply by 4 and then subtract 2. So 1 times 4 is 4 less 2 is 2. We're gonna do the same thing here Multiply by 4, 2 times 4 is 8, subtract 2 is 6. 3, multiply by 4, and then is 12, then subtract 2 is 10. Now, with these ones, boys and girls, we're actually going to go in the opposite direction. So, but we're going to do the opposite. So, we're going to, instead of subtracting 2, we're going to add 2, because we're going to do it in the reverse way, and then instead of multiplying by Four, we're going to divide by 4, okay, because we're working backwards now. And now uh, let me switch pens here so that we know that we're working, now we're working backwards as we go through. Okay, so we're going to add 2 and then divide by 4. 14 plus 2 is 16, divided by 4 is 4. Here we're going to add 2 and divide by 4. 18 plus 2 is 20, divided by 4 is 5. And then we're going to add 2, divide by 4. 22, add 2 is 24, divide by 4 is 6. Okay, so when we're working the input, boys and girls, when we're working the input, we're going to go regular, we're going to go whatever it says. When we start working the output, boys and girls, that's where we're going to start flipping things around and we're going to go the opposite direction. Pardon me as I try and get this into a little bit better focus for you. I apologize. It has been a while since we've used this. So, Okay, so let's look at number two then. Our rule is we're going to multiply by 20 and then add 5. So our input is 1. We're going to multiply by 20 and then add 5. 1 times 20 is 20 plus 5. Our answer should be 25. Okay? Two. 2 times 20 is 40, plus 5 is 45, okay? Now, we're at, we're given the output, so which means we have to go backwards. So instead of adding 5, we have to go backwards this way, but instead of adding, we have to do it reverse. We're going to subtract 5, and then instead of multiplying by 20, what's the opposite of multiplying? We're going to divide by 20. So 65 minus 5 is 60, divided by 20 should be 3. This one again, we're going to subtract first and then divide by 20, which is the opposite. 85 minus 5 is 80, divided by 20 is going to give us 4. 
Now, if you notice, we're going this way again. So we're going to multiply by 20 and then add 5. Okay, 5 times 20 is 100 plus 5 is 105. And then 6 times 20 plus 5. 6 times 2 is 12 plus a 0, 120 plus, oops, that should be a 5, should be 125. Okay, so hopefully this is making sense here. Now, if we look at this one, the next one coming up here, again, I am trying to get a little bit better focus for you. And I'm trying to do things so it does things backwards. So, let's see, so I gotta go this way. No, I guess I do go this way. There we go. Now, if we look at this problem here, it says the rule in words, divide by two, then add blank. So we don't know what we're doing yet. We don't know what our rule is. We don't know, but we have our input and our output completed. So let's look and see what we can do to figure that out. Okay, if our input is two, our output is 11. Okay. So how do I get, if, I'm, if I divide by 2, so 2 divided by 2, 2 divided by 2 is going to give us 1. To get to 11, I, I, I can either times 11 or I can add 10. Okay, let's try that. So now let's go to number to 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. To get to 12, well, I can't times it by 11 because that would be 22, but it is, oops, I got out of focus there. Okay, it is add 10. And that's, I got 12. Let's try 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and then if I add 10, I'm going to get 13. 8, we're going to check one more, divided by 2 is 4. If I add 10, I'll get 14. So by Divide by 2, add 10, I'm going to get the correct answer. So this should be add 10. All right. And let's do the final one here. Okay. Multi rule, multiply by something, then subtract 2. Output, input, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Output, 3, 8, 13, 18, 23. So we're going to work backwards here to figure this out. So we're going to add 2, and we're going to come to 5. So how did I get from 1 to 5? I multiplied by 5. Let's check and see. Add 2, and this is going to bring us to 10. How do we get from 2 to 10? Times 5. Add 2, which will give me 15. 3 to 15 is times 5. So my rule is multiply by 5, and then subtract 2. Okay, so those are the first two, first four in our um, input output. We're going to work on the next four in the next video. So hold on, and hopefully I can remember how to do this.